A few years ago, I was working with a non-native English speaker. I remember it like it was yesterday. She was lovely from Argentina and I loved working with her. There was one word that when she learned the correct pronunciation of that word, she was a little horrified. She couldn't believe that she had been mispronouncing it all these years. My name is Jane Latz, founder of Corporate Speech Solutions, where we provide the training so you can learn to accelerate your career success by communicating with greater clarity and confidence. And in this video, we are going to talk not just about tricky silent letters, but specifically about that silent T. In this video, I'll share with you five very commonly used words where that final T is silent. Are you ready to learn? And before I get started, don't forget to go into the description box to grab your gift for today. So the very first word, or actually the word that stumped this client is the word buffet. Last night I went to dinner and there was an incredible buffet of all my favorite foods. It is not pronounced buffet. The T is silent. This is the word that caused her so much anxiety, but she was thrilled when she learned the correct pronunciation is buffet. The second word that has a silent T that we also use frequently is valet. You go to your favorite restaurant, you might give your car to the valet. It is not valet. That T is silent. Valet. The third word that we will discuss in this video that has a silent T is the word ballet. Last night. I went to the ballet. It is not ballet. The T is silent. Ballet. Be sure to practice saying it with me and of course making sure that you still put the T in the word when you are writing the word. The fourth word that has a silent T is debut. I made my debut on television last night. That final T is also silent. Debut. And lastly, in my series of five tricky silent letters, all with that tricky silent final T, is the word chalet. I stayed at a Swiss chalet when I was in Switzerland. Chalet, that T is silent. My goal in this video is for you to gain greater confidence when you are speaking in English by learning and mastering these words with tricky silent letters. I don't want any of you to feel embarrassed when you realize, oh, I'm not supposed to be pronouncing that sound. So replay this video as many times as you need to, to practice the correct pronunciation. And don't forget to grab your gift in the description box below. But let me just go back over those five words from today. The first one being buffet. Sounds like it ends with an A-Y, but it doesn't. There's a final T. Valet. Again, final T when you're writing it, but we don't pronounce that final T. Valet. Debut. And chalet. Practice the pronunciation with me practice writing. 
Remember that repetition is the key to mastery. So just pause, replay, practice, listen, and write. Sounds like a lot, but that's why I'm only giving you five words because I want you to practice to perfection. I'm Jane Latz, founder of Corporate Speech Solutions, where my goal is to accelerate your career success by giving this, you the skills to communicate, not just with greater clarity, but with greater confidence as well. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.